If you follow my channel, you know I absolutely love the Dell XPS 13, especially this 2020 refresh that I recently checked out. In fact, I liked it so much, it's in the running for laptop of the year. Yeah, it's that good. So I was really excited when Dell announced the all new Dell XPS 15 and Dell XPS 17. Now I'll get to that 17 very soon, but first up is the Dell XPS 15. What we have here is an improved display with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. You're getting improved audio. You're getting all new updated processors and a really good new look. I'm really excited to check it out. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is my unboxing and first look at the Dell XPS 15 9500, all new for 2020. Coming up. Today's video is brought to you by Xyro, one of the easiest and most powerful ways to create a website on the internet today. Find out later in this video how you can save 30% off building your next website with Xyro. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. And make sure you follow me on the social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. It's over there where I'll post a lot of the updates. And of course, in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before it's released. Now I purchased this unit with my own money. I did not receive a review unit from Dell. Pricing starts at $12.99 US, although they are running some sales, so you might even get a bigger discount, but the price has tested $22.53.99. I'll put the link below for more information and where you can buy it. And with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now, speaking of the box, it certainly has seen better days. Looks like FedEx had their way with it. Uh, if there's any kind of internal damage, if the XPS 15 is damaged in any way, you could be rest assured that FedEx will hear from me as well as Dell. And once again, we see very premium packaging from Dell. Now lifting the lid, you're greeted by the unit itself. Feels very premium, very high end. You get some documentation. You also get your extension cord along with 130 watt power adapter. And this time around, it's USB-C. Now they give you an adapter in the box that gives you an HDMI port and a USB-A port. You no longer get a USB-A port on the device. Now you're looking at four and a half pounds or a little bit more than two kilograms and it's very sleek, very high end with its all metal build, very good build construction. In fact, it's outstanding. And as we always do, let's check out the port selection. Okay, let's start off on the left side where you get your Kensington lock port, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and they support data charge and display out. And moving over to the right side, you get a USB-C 3.1 port, full-size SD card slot, and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Remember, there's no USB-A port. But it is nice that they do include that hub in the box, something that Apple would never do. Now to put its size into perspective, here it is with the Dell XPS 13 9300. As you can see, it is bigger, but not that much bigger, considering this is a 15.6 inch device versus a 13.4 inch device. That's pretty impressive. And just like the XPS 13 9300, this also has a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. Now before we get to the display, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Xyro, one of the easiest and fastest ways to make a website today on the internet. It's fast, it's powerful, and it gets the job done. Xyro features dozens of designer-made website templates that don't just look great, but work beautifully too. So just pick one and start your online presence. Every Xyro website can be set up in under an hour and then load at lightning speed. Milliseconds matter here, so don't make your visitors wait. It's extremely easy to build and fast to load. And Xyro has everything you need to start your online business, multiple storefronts, an online store, sell on Facebook, Instagram, Amazon. You get email notifications, discount coupons, gift cards, 
order, inventory management, shipping, tax management. There's also 50 plus payment options available. So head on over to Zyro.com and don't forget to use the promo code AMD Tech to get 30% off all paid Zyro plans. Again, that's a deal you don't want to miss. And I want to thank Zyro for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's talk about the display, and that to me is the star of the show. What we're looking at here is a 15.6 inch IPS display with a resolution of 3840 by 2400. That is a UHD plus resolution. It also means that it has a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. That's the same ratio that we saw with the Dell XPS 13 9300 that I recently reviewed. Now it seems that Dell is no longer offering an OLED display like the one we checked out last year. However, I have to say that this IPS display is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I think it's stunning. Really deep blacks, extremely vibrant colors, excellent contrast, and it gets really bright. I'll bring you all the numbers for this display in my full review, but rest assured, so far, 24 hours in, this is definitely the star of the show. They did an outstanding job once again. And just like the Dell XPS 13 9300, they implemented a four-sided infinity edge display, even bezels all around. And it gives off an extremely modern look. It's a sleek look, and I absolutely love it. So this is the front-facing camera on the Dell XPS 15 9500, all new for 2020. And I think I have a defective camera because you see these spots on here are not dirt on my walls. I can guarantee you that. Uh, that is from the camera and I tried cleaning it and it seems to be a scratch or something on the lens So I'm going to investigate this but of course if it's a obviously a defect I will be sending it back to Dell, but I just thought you might want to know that But as far as the camera itself under normal circumstances will definitely be good for Skype Zoom if you'd want to do video conference in a pinch you can definitely do it with this camera uh, Not the best I've ever seen certainly not the worst the saving grace, of course, is that it is in a proper place on the top bezel. It's not a chin cam. It's not a nostril cam. It's in a normal place. Now that camera is Windows Hello compatible. It is an infrared camera, so that means you can log in with face recognition. Now the power button doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Setup was easy and it's working really well so far. Now, as far as user upgradability is concerned, there's good news on that front. Now, to get inside this laptop, you need to remove the T5 Torx screws, pop off the bottom plate, the metal bottom plate, and you're in. Now, once inside, you'll notice the two fans inside there for cooling. You'll notice that there are two slots for the RAM, so you can swap those out. You could also swap out the SSDs. There are two slots for those. Now, this has Bluetooth 5.0, and it has Killer Wireless 6. Now, the Wi-Fi card itself is soldered into the motherboard. You won't be able to upgrade that, but at least it's Wi-Fi 6 and that's pretty much future proof for now. Now as far as the battery itself this is the larger 86 watt hour battery and that's slightly smaller than last year's model. And of course, for those wondering, yes, you can open it with one finger. Now, once you open it up, you will notice something very familiar. That's the black carbon fiber deck. And yes, it still collects a lot of fingerprints. You will be wiping it down quite a bit. But when it is clean, it looks really awesome. And it also feels pretty good on your wrist when you're typing. And just like the Dell XPS 13 9300 we just reviewed, this has an improved keyboard as well. Better key travel, better tactile feedback, and it feels really comfortable to type on so far. Now I know some other reviewers have had issues with this touchpad and so far my first 24 hours in with it I'm actually having no problems with it. It's really responsive. It's got some really nice scrolling. It's very buttery smooth and all the Windows 10 gestures they're all working so I'm not really sure what other people are seeing. I'm actually thinking this trackpad is working well. It's a really nicely sized trackpad and uh, I really don't have those issues but again I only have this for less than 24 hours. I'll put more time in with it and I will let you know my results when I'm finished with my testing. And another area where I'm seeing a big improvement is the sound. They now are going with a quad speaker system and it sounds phenomenal. In fact, I think it even rivals that of the 16 inch MacBook Pro, to me the best in the business. And when I do my head to head between the two, that's one thing I will compare between them. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's wrap it up. My initial impressions, less than 24 hours in. Here's what I think. So far, I am blown away. I like the stunning 15.6 inch UHD Plus Infinity Edge display with the equal bezels all around. It gives off a really sleek and modern look. I like the improved keyboard, the 10th gen Intel processors, the outstanding quad speaker design, and I anticipate very good battery life with that 86 watt hour battery. Now, the couple of things that I'm I'm not crazy about. I don't like the fact that they don't give you a USB-A port anymore. I don't like the fact that there's no HDMI port there anymore either. And it's a major fingerprint magnet with that carbon fiber deck. You will be cleaning it quite often. And it can get expensive, although this is a very premium device. I guess that's something we can expect. But I do have a lot of testing ahead of me to bring you that full review. I will bring you all the numbers coming very soon. But so far, I'm blown away. So what do you think about the new 2020 Dell XPS 15? All the right improvements so far, looking good. I like that 16 to 10 aspect ratio. Love the touch display, absolutely gorgeous. UHD plus resolution, how can you go wrong? It's looking good so far. I like the performance so far of that 10th generation processor inside this bad boy. I'm really happy with the performance in my initial use of it, first 24 hours in. Of course, I will have to do all my testing and do all the benchmarks as I always bring you in my full review, which will of course be coming very soon. And in addition to that, I will be putting it head to head in a showdown with, of course, the 16 inch MacBook Pro. I think this is one that you're going to definitely want to check out. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of the Dell XPS 15? Are these the improvements you are looking for? Is this the redesign we've all been wanting? I think so. So far, it looks like it fits the bill. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.